What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods Expert. Oh, yeah, guys. So last episode, we were able to get <laughs> uh, our copper smelted, and now we're looking for a way to get iron going. Yeah, our copper, we were able to crush up with our grindstone here, and then we were able to melt it down with the heating crucible and make our ingots. But yeah, we need to progress further and get ourselves a little bit of iron. So we made this atmosphere gauge which says that we're supposed to find an area with abnormal heat generating from the core. Uh, let's see. Is it this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in order to melt iron, you'll need to channel the power of the earth, create an atmospheric gauge, to find a spot where there is an abnormal amount of heat emanating from the core. Pretty much exactly what I said. <laughs> so it says, before you set out on your journey, you'll want to do some preparation. You will need the following items. Ember bore, hopper, lever, mechanical core, item pump, item pipe, chest, and a and some fuel so ember bore let's take a look at that real quick ember bore so one of those requires some stuff here okay so we're gonna need sharpened flint that's just two pieces of flint each a mechanical core which is item pipe plus copper ingots we have the copper under control item pipes come from lead nuggets plus caminite brick uh caminite caminite i'm not sure how to pronounce that and then some glass so lead is a thing we haven't had a chance to even mess with yet. So it looks like if we put lead in or pour lead ore from Railcraft into a crusher, we can get four lead nuggets. I wonder, is there another way to do this? There probably is. So that's Railcraft. How about immersive engineering? Okay, so it looks like immersive engineering. Yeah, we can just do this. Look, can we just melt it? So pour lead ore. I don't think I've even found lead ore yet. Is it just poor lead ore? We have lead ore from embers. Let's take a look. Did we find lead ore yet? Feel like we have not. Doesn't look like anything's highlighted here. Okay, so we need to figure out where lead ore spawns. I don't think this will show us. Oh, uh, world generation. Here we go. Okay, so it says that it spawns at Y62, Y47. That's kind of a weird. Well, this is IC2. I don't know if we're looking for IC2 stuff or not, but it says this is where it spawns in the world. So it looks like down low is a good spot. That might be what we should do. We have not dug all the way down to diamond level yet. So, you know, if we're looking for lead ore and it is going to be down low, I don't have a problem with doing that. You know what? In fact, I should probably go and make myself some more cobblestone stairs so we can just have stairs all the way down to bedrock here. I think that's going to be a great idea. I'll just go and grab a stack of cobble and then there's way more than enough stairs <laughs> than what we're going to need. Okay, well, I got a little bit of digging ahead of me. Hopefully we will find some lit ore on the way down. Yep. Anyway, uh, this is not the fastest pickaxe in the world, but it is better than what we were using before, but it'll get the job done. That's for sure. This is a new type of ore I don't think we've seen yet. Black quartz ore from actually additions. I have seen it before in, you know, other playthroughs, but not in this particular pack. Uh, there we go. All right. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and dig down to bedrock. Hopefully, we'll find lead ore on the way down here. Otherwise, we will have a staircase to bedrock, and we'll be able to do, like, diamond farming and things like that. Maybe redstone, all those kinds of things. Anyway, give me a little bit of time, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. Well, I'm just digging the tunnel down here, and I'm making it a little bit nicer. So, we have stairs that come all the way down. So, <laughs> Yeah, I'm making it so we can put stairs here. I'm making it so we don't bump our heads on the ceiling the whole way. And yeah, we came across our first piece of lead ore here, but it looks like there was only just the one. Hmm. Okay. Well, if it's going to be that rare, I don't know what to say. We can try mining out some of this stuff here. I just also had to make a new reinforced pickaxe. Oh, no, there is another one here. Cool. Okay, so we'll have to see. Is there any way to get, like, uh, more than four nuggets per lead ore? Let's do the uses on this. Purification chamber. Okay, yeah, there is mechanism in this for sure, right? Uh, so macerator, macerator. Uh, yeah, we can double it with that. If we ever get into <laughs> IC2 stuff, quartz grindstone we can't do. We can craft it into facades. Let's see. Smelting, that just turns it into one ingot. So we can get a full ingot out of there, not just like four nuggets. Crusher furnace. So it looks like we get the furnace from extra utilities too. Right? Yeah. Oh, disabled. So I guess we won't ever get this furnace. <laughs> Crusher. Uh 
melting recipe enrichment chamber quartz grindstone okay well i think we've gone through all the different things that we have available here doesn't look like we're gonna be able to do much with this maybe we'll be able to put it through our the same thing we did with the copper and get some kind of doubling out of there but anyway i'm gonna continue on here i'm going to finish up the staircase all the way down to bedrock get the stairs in here and then we'll come back and check out what we can do with that lead ore be right back guys all right, guys, well, it looks like lead ore will just smell directly in a furnace, and there's a lead ingot. Okay, so that makes that pretty easy. We don't need any of the fancy other machines to do this. Yeah, we get nine nuggets out of there. So let's go back to the book real quick and figure out what it was that we needed. So ember bore, ember bore. Yeah, so that was, once again, this mechanical core, which these item pipes are required. Uh, Kamenite brick. I think we might have made some extra of that before. I seem to remember. Okay, we have two. Is that the amount we needed for these item pipes? Yeah, okay. So we can make one recipe of the item pipe. We get three of those. We need four for the mechanical core. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to need a lot more of this stuff. So this Kamenite blend comes from clay and bone meal or clay and an egg. Right, so clay is like a big thing that we need a lot of uh so we have 15 hmm i wonder can i put the bone meal did i just drop down the ground i didn't <laughs> can i put the bone in like our grinder down here i tried putting the lead in here and this didn't work can we put bones in here oh that seems to work okay let me right click on that maybe we'll get more than just two maybe we'll get like five i don't know ah we do get five that's nice Okay, uh, so there is enough, I do believe, for the amount of clay that we have here. There we go. There's 20 of that stuff. So this stuff we have to dry on the drying rack. Uh, I'm using Draconic Evolution place item in world to place that thing right there. You, I have mine mapped to the uh, P key on my keyboard. I think by default, there is the Dark Steel Armor Night Vision is mapped to P, so I unbound that. Anyway, I just... Remember, place item with in world with P, so that's why I do that. Uh, so we got those cooking up. Now, what else can we make here? Let's take a look. Uh, hopper, that was five, ten, and then a chest, if I remember correctly. So we have exactly five. <laughs> okay, so that'll work for me. Do we have any more of the coal pellets? Doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and just do that. We'll get put 12 of those in there. That'll be fine. We'll have extra for later uh going back here so we need a lever that's easy mechanical core is that an additional one like after the one for the ember bore okay so it looks like we have to make a lot of those item pipes then item pump let's take a look at that item pump so an item pump is more item pipe and levers okay uh item pipe we've seen chest so fuel is that like coal is that some kind of an other thing I don't really know. I assume that's probably just going to be like coal or something. Energized fuel blend. I don't think that's what we're doing here. ATM rock hounding. Um, okay. I think we have everything ready to go here. We're just waiting on this stuff to harden up. We're waiting on this to cook down. Let me try and prepare all the things that we can prepare at this moment. And then we'll be back guys. All right, guys. Well, I went ahead and made the items that are required in order to get our embers stuff going here. Uh, now comes the fun part of <laughs> walking around in the world and trying to find a spot that actually has, uh, I guess, a high level of heat or whatever it is that we're looking for. I assume the compass that's in the center of our screen here will, like the little dial will go all the way over to the right-hand side when we're somewhere that has a lot of heat. Uh, yeah, apparently it's per chunk. So you have to walk 16 blocks in order to find another one I don't know if this thing will recognize like if you're near one and kind of go up a little bit Or if it's only when you enter a specific chunk. Oh, man, it is becoming nighttime And I can't go very far <laughs> We're gonna die to monsters. I don't have a bed to sleep Uh, it's one of those things like when it starts becoming night in this pack like it becomes dark really fast And I won't be able to see anything so I kind of need to run back now <laughs> and uh, get back to the home base before it gets completely pitch black. Otherwise, yeah, it's not going to be a good time here. Oh, man, it's already so dark. I can't see. Okay, so let's get out from under these trees. 
Oh, I can't see anything. This is bad. Uh, I'm just gonna dig down. And hopefully, <laughs> just sit in this little hole overnight. Oh my goodness, yeah. Uh, torches is probably a thing that you should bring with you. Maybe mark a path, kind of like breadcrumbs or whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here through the night. <laughs> we'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so I waited out the night and I went back. I made a little bit of torches. I brought a stack of cobblestone. So if nothing else, we can just kind of pillar up and then place some torches around. So as I'm coming back over to where I was before, uh, I'm noticing that the compass is increasing ever so slightly. So it looks like as I'm going over this way, oh, no, no, it's just going back down. Uh, it was going up, going back down. Is it this way? Is it behind me? I don't know which way it is. Uh, but yeah, it looks like the compass is kind of doing something a little bit here. So yeah, it's going up, up higher. Maybe it's this way. It is not moving at all. <laughs> I don't know how to tell. Do I have, I, I know that it said that we had to be closer to bedrock in order for us to mine the stuff. Oh yeah. It looks like it's going up over here a little bit. All right. So where do I go from here? I don't know. And do I have to like stay in the chunk for a while before that thing raises up to where it's gonna be? Uh, if I go over here, it goes back down, come over here, it's going up. So I wonder if I should just dig down here or not. Um, yeah, I honestly don't know how this thing works, as you can obvious, as you can tell, right? Uh, pretty apparent. So it does look like it's gone up a little bit over here, right? No, no, it's not. It is kind of going up a little bit. Maybe here. All right, I'm gonna try digging down because I don't know what to do here. There's zombies around. Maybe I'll do like. Oh, I wonder if there's a zombie spawner. Anyway, I'll do like straddle two blocks or whatever. So in case we hit lava or something, <laughs> we can take care of ourselves and not die immediately. Okay, so as we're going down lower, is that going up any higher? Not really. That feels like it's about the same. So I don't know how this all works. Um, If like we're on the surface and the, the compass goes all the way up or... If it's just like it goes up a little bit and the closer to bedrock you get, then it goes up higher. That's what we're trying to figure out here anyway. So let me get down to bedrock, see if we see any change on the compass, and we'll be back. All right, guys. So I'm recording this on the next day. Yeah, unfortunately, it took me far too long to try and find a spot that had enough ember. Uh, yeah, I was kind of running around the world, figuring out what I needed to do. I wasn't able to figure it out, so I looked for a video on the ember mod. Apparently... Like extreme hills are supposed to have a lot of ember. So I went through the extreme hills nearby. I wasn't able to see a whole lot of stuff going on with our little uh, ember meter thing here, atmospheric gauge. I found out you can't put it in the off hand, so that's nice. I can do stuff with the other hand. <laughs> uh, so anyway, uh, I found a spot that's about a third of the way full. And then as I was digging down, my pickaxe ran out. So I came back here to the base to make another one. Also, during the developer mod spotlight, I saw that we need gunpowder for fuel as well. So I've been trying to figure out how to get gunpowder here. Uh, I made myself a sword thinking I was going to go kill some creepers, and we still can't do that, but we got to wait for, for it to become dawn. It's almost there. And then I was kind of looking for uh, ways that we can make a gunpowder, and it looks like if we take blocks of coal, put into the grindstone, we can do one block of coal into three pieces of gunpowder so we should get six out of two of these i think yeah there's three right there so yeah that seems to be working correctly all right so there's six we had two pieces of gunpowder from previous uh so we got a little bit of fuel now <laughs> for our ember collector um yeah so we have the gunpowder here i've got some coal i also brought oh i thought i had the other the other coal. I must have put that back in here. This stuff. I don't know which one's better or if they all work the same or whatever, but we have that. Yeah, I don't see any creepers outside now. I didn't want to go out here when there was going to be zombies everywhere and skeletons and stuff, but now I don't even see a creeper. Hmm. I haven't gotten a chance to... Is that guy angry at me? No. I haven't gotten a chance to use this sword yet, so this is the first time we've used this sword in this mod pack. Don't touch me. Ah, they touch me. No touchy. 
Hey, you did. You're dead. Ooh, you dropped me some armor. Oh, it was just one armor. And then the salvaged reinforced fist, whatever that is. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to kill the Ender Mini here, but that thing will wreck me with as little armor as we have right now. Yeah, unfortunately, we did not get ourselves any more creepers. So, yeah, over there, 300 blocks away, I have marked with a waypoint called Hole. I dug a hole all the way down to bedrock over there. And like I said, I started digging it out a little bit and then it turned out I was going to run out of my pickaxe. So I had to come back here again. Yeah. And then I had things I had to take care of. Uh, yeah. Yesterday when I was recording this, uh, to go see family or whatever. So yeah, it's just taking a little bit longer than I was expecting. And I ran out of the recording time and all of that kind of stuff. But anyway, uh, let me get back over here to our hole. I'm going to go down there, dig out a room. And hopefully we can check out collecting a little bit, a little bit of ember. Be right back, guys. All right, guys. So we got a little room dug out here. I believe this is seven by seven. I got a ladder going all the way up here. <laughs> so we have access out. But yeah, we need to set down these different pieces here. So ember bore. I'm going to go ahead and set that down right, right here. Okay. So we put down the ember board. <laughs> it turns into a big three by three area. Uh, I do believe we need to put down a mechanical core right there. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see what else we're going to need to pipe items in and out of this thing. So how do we do this? You know what? I think we might need another item pump, although I'm not 100% sure. So let's just go ahead and set a chest here. We will do item pump okay so that connects to both of those you know what? i don't think that's gonna work correctly uh let me go ahead and move this over one block we can put it right there i think that should be fine uh we have a hopper here this oh you know what we could do it this way so we can hopper in the items that we want so i don't know how much coal we'll do that and we'll put in the eight gunpowder that we have so this item pump will extract items from this mechanical core. The mechanical core is pretty much acting like another block so we can pull out this multi-block structure here. Uh, so we need to get ourselves one item pipe connected like this, and then we can use a lever on the front here. Yep. And that will uh, extract out of the machine and into the chest like so. Probably need to remove the block up there so we can see what's going on. So there's an ember. Now, I do believe this multi-block structure here, yeah, you can see there's things down there that's happening. It's digging into the bedrock, although it's digging really, really quickly here. <laughs> uh, yeah, it has an animation. It shows that it's digging here. And then I think every time it collects an ember, it uses a piece of gunpowder. Although I'm not 100% sure that's how that's working. Anyway, you can see that it's still doing stuff. I guess when you're in an area that has more ember, it goes faster, although I'm not 100% sure on that. This is the first time I've really used this mod, so I'm still kind of learning as we go. So we got two pieces of ember now, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, you can see the little compass thing that we have in the center of the screen. It's only about a third of the way up. That's the highest point I could find for this thing, unfortunately. I did go around and I looked. Uh, so I have found a bunch of these berries around. Uh, these things are really good because, like I said before, you can clear out your previously eaten food. So we have toast here, one piece of toast, and we're down to 54.39 nutritional value. So if I eat five of these berries, there we go, that will reset our food, and then we can eat that for the full, the full nutritional value, right? So that's pretty awesome. Uh, you can also use other things like carrots or beetroots or uncooked potatoes or pretty much anything like that. Any kind of throwaway food that doesn't take much effort. You can eat five of those, it'll reset it, and then you can eat your good food to fill up like the big portion of your hunger and your saturation. So yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing here. Uh, so we got three pieces of ember now. <laughs> Just making progress. Not really fast, but it is making progress nonetheless. Uh, I guess I'll probably want to wait here until this thing is done until the gunpowder is used up and uh, Oh, you know, what? I guess it hasn't used any gunpowder. Does it not use gunpowder now or does it just use coal? I was under the impression that it used both coal and gunpowder although that could be changed for this mod pack Hmm. Anyway, it appears to be running specifically off coal 
All right, well, that's what I get for watching a developer spotlight on the mod. Anyway, uh, let's wait for this thing to finish up, and we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so I want to leave this thing running, but this is pretty far away from the base, so I want to do a chunk loading thing. So I just tried clicking the clean chunks thing. It says you must be in a team to do that or whatever. Uh, so I think we can do FTB uh, team teams. Is it FTBU teams? That's FTB? Okay, here we go. So if you do slash FTB, you get the list of all the things that you can do here. Uh, so FTB team. And then we can do create a hypno, right? It has to be lower case, it has to be lower H. Okay, so now I have a team. I can click this. I guess so. Okay, so there is our chunk here. I'm going to claim it, and then I'm going to uh, chunk load it. Can I chunk? There we go. Shift, left click to chunk load it. Left click to claim it. And then I think it's right click to unclaim it. Yeah, okay. So there we go. This chunk is loaded, so this should always be collecting the our ember stuff. I'm going to take those out of here. And it is nighttime, so I guess I gotta wait until daytime. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get killed on the surface <laughs> with how little armor we have. But yeah, so we're able to now claim chunks with this. I am curious, so I didn't see. Uh, okay, allow us to have 50 loaded chunks, and we can claim up to 100. And I do believe those are configurable in uh, the FTB utilities configuration. But anyway, I guess I gotta wait for uh, daytime, and then we will head back to the base and check out what we can do with our embers. All right, guys, so now we're back at the base. So I'm looking through the book here, and it says once you have some ember shards and ember crystals, you can head back up to the surface and get your melter operating to turn the ember pieces into energy that can be used by the embers machines. You need to create an ember activator and feed the ember into the bottom half of the activator with the hopper. You will also need to attach an ember emitter to the top half of the activator. So we need an ember activator and an ember emitter. So we need the Kamenite plates and some copper. We need a bunch of copper here. So it looks like we need eight pieces of copper in total. And we need Kamenite bricks plus an ember crystal. Okay, so first things first, do we have eight copper ingots? I know we made some before, we have two. All right, so whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> did I bring some up here? Cause I think we had to use copper for something else. I'm not seeing copper ingots in here, but we do have more copper dust. Right, so I do remember uh, that we were able to melt down the copper with coal. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to get this thing set up again. So we'll put that there that I'll feed into this thing. I'll put, I don't know, probably three pieces of coal in here just to make sure everything heats up properly. Uh, my thermometer thing, I did put it way up here. I had it on me for a while, but I put it away. Now I actually need it again. <laughs> so let's see where this is at. So, oh, okay, so this is pretty hot already. Right, this thing, though, this needs to be cooled off. So we needed those other things. What was that? Let's go back real quick. That was the, oh, it was the dirt things, wasn't it? Yeah, these right here. Uh, dear, Dirt heat cables, right. So we need a lot of dirt for those heat cables so that can cool off the molten metal and cast it out for us. We have 11 dirt right now. Can we make some kind of a shovel? I am curious. We could do some of these if we had any of these different things, I guess. Black quartz is what I made our sword out of, but I only had two pieces of black quartz that I mined up from the mine. I guess we could come down here and see if I can find another piece of black quartz to make another tool out of. Here's some quartz right here. So this stuff we can just melt in the furnace. That's how I did it before. You just melt it in the furnace to get one black quartz crystal and then two sticks I imagine plus that will equal our shovel I'll have to go outside and mine up a little bit of dirt or we could go down to the cave maybe that'd be better just so we're not tearing up the landscape around us I do know there's a lot of dirt down below in the mines all right so let's uh head down here then see I don't want to mine it right there by the surface I think all the way down well there's some here 
Yeah, this might be what I was thinking of before. Yeah, we could definitely go ahead and start mining this out. Oh, that shovel's not so bad, actually. That mines rather quickly. I like that. Okay, so I'll go ahead and mine this out. We'll make those cables. I'll get the copper ingots made up. Uh, I think the other bits and pieces that we needed for that was rather simple, if I remember correctly. Just the Kamenite stuff. Uh, I said it needed the Kamenite blocks, which I think is for each... Anyway, I don't remember that stuff being super difficult. We might just have to go and get ourselves just a little bit more, uh, a little bit more clay from outside, which isn't that big of a deal. Anyway, I'll harvest up the rest of this stuff. We'll make those cables. We'll get the copper made and we'll be back. Okay, guys. Well, I dug out a little bit more space down here next to our other machines that we have. Yes, I think we're about ready to check this out. So we need our ember activator. I'll go and stick that right here in the corner. Uh, we're supposed to be feed in ember into this thing through a hopper right so i'll put a hopper here where we can feed in the ember let's just throw in one little ember shard and see what happens if anything i'll dump that in there oh okay so we get some glowy action happening here does not appear that we get any information though but we do see glowy stuff happening okay so back to the book there was kind of like a diagram that showed how all this stuff was done so we have the hopper going to here uh, we have an ember transmitter, so, or I'm sorry, ember emitter. We'll do that. I guess we'll place a lever right here. Okay, so that should turn that on and off. And then we have a melter, ember receptor, and a melter. Okay, so melter, which is really tall. <laughs> uh, did, I, did I need to put that one block further away? I might. Looks like the ember receptor goes on the bottom. Actually, I guess we could leave it right there. Let's try this. So I put that there. All right, so it looks like things are right. So the next thing that I need to do, I need to get some iron ore that we can melt, and then we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna take that iron. Yeah, I don't know how much we need. Let's maybe 16. We gotta figure out how we're gonna get the iron and then solidify it. I think it's in the book here. Let's see, so that's how the machine's set up. Seeing as Embers has no GUI or GUI interfaces, it is highly recommended to use the Ember fluid and item gauges provided by the mod. Once the melter has received some Ember, you can put some ore into it by right-clicking the ore with your hand. Okay, please note, this only works on a few basic ores, copper, gold, and iron. And once the melter has some molten metal inside, attach a fluid transfer node to one of the sides on the top half and connect it to a stamp base with transfer pipes. Okay, so we need a stamp base. Uh Oh, that's more Kamenite stuff. Okay, well, let's just get this thing turned on. Let's just see if we've done things correctly here. So if I flip this lever, nothing happens. Does nothing happen until I put... Oop, down there, down there. Uh, okay, hold on a second. I might have missed a step here. Next, you'll create a melter with an ember receptor on the bottom. Lastly, to successfully transfer activated ember from the activator to the melter, you need to put a lever on the ember emitter, which it did, turn it on, then shift right click on the ember receptor with a tinker's hammer. This is separate from a separate item from embers, not from tinker's construct. And then right click the ember emitter with the hammer. So I have to shift right click this one and then right click this one. So we go from receiving to sending. Okay. So we need to get ourselves a tinker's hammer from embers. Ah, okay. So that seems relatively easy. We need five more copper. Thankfully, we have a little bit extra now. Five more copper and then two more sticks. So like that, not like that, like this and like that. Okay, so there's our tinker's hammer. All right, so shift right click from the receiving and then right click on the sending. All right, so things are happening now. Looks like we're transferring some ember to here. Uh, So this has the ore in there. Oh, okay, so now we have an ingot, 144 millibuckets. Of molten iron awesome okay so that is doing exactly what we want it to do 
Looks like we ran out of juice, maybe? Or does this thing have enough in here to keep melting? We have two ingots worth? I'm not sure. I see it glowing there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's It can store up a little bit of power. And then I guess, like, as it uses some, it'll send some more over. I'm really not sure. I just put in, like, one of the smaller shards, didn't I, into this thing? And it seems like it's still going now. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully that stuff lasts for quite some time. Uh, oh, no, we... Uh, no, it is still going, I think. I don't know. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to have to continue this next time. Unfortunately, we've ran out of time for this episode. <laughs> I kind of wanted to get all this stuff going, but yeah, we have to make the stamper and figure out how all that stuff works. So next episode, we should be able to get ourselves iron ingots, which is going to be awesome, which will allow us to get the next upgraded reinforced pickaxe, which is going to be super cool. Allow us to mine some better stuff, I do believe. And then maybe we'll be able to start working on getting some tinkers tools and, have, and not having to deal with any of this nonsense anymore. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm still kind of curious how this is all going to work in the future. Like, are we going to have to use these machines through the entire playthrough in order to get iron? I guess we'll have to figure that out as we go. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.